What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We got some big things going on with Tesla, especially how everyone is so curious about what's Tesla's next major project. And since they already introduced and designed several vehicles like the Cybertruck, Roadster, Semi, and also they're currently designing the upcoming hatchback model too, there really isn't that much to do in the design department right now. So the biggest thing that Musk is hoping that Tesla can achieve for this year is Tesla insurance expanding to other states. I can't stress how profitable insurance is. Even Warren Buffett has a huge chunk of his money in the insurance business because they know that insurance is almost a guaranteed way to make good cash. And unlike manufacturing where it takes a lot of people factory and raw materials, Tesla insurance, it doesn't really need that much. You only need like a few employees and that's pretty much it. But keep in mind that trying to get into the insurance business is super tough. Once again, Tesla is hoping that their insurance program can be expanded to other states in the US later this year because their vehicles are so popular. If you check out quarter one of 2021, they delivered 184,000 vehicles and that was literally only the Model 3 and the Model Y. This is excluding the Model X and the Model S because those vehicles are under like a refresh phase and they will start deliveries in the summer of 2021. There's no cyber truck to go with it because it's gonna be coming out mostly next year. And that's pretty impressive in my opinion. And they should be hitting a million vehicles delivered for 2021 and possibly two or three million next year. And with Tesla's being more popular, having more insurance in more states will not only be beneficial to the Tesla customers themselves, but also Tesla. They could definitely make some decent cash. Musk even tweeted here saying, hopefully later this year for several more states. Insurance is different from almost every state in America and regulatory approvals take time. It's a really long time. I live in like Ohio, Kentucky, around that region, and we're not getting any sort of Tesla insurance at all. Tesla has no intentions to be moving into less populated states. They want to be moving to more populated areas like Texas, New York, you know, etc. like those areas before going anywhere else. So if you guys are living in like Montana or like Kansas, it's going to take a very long time before insurance gets to your area. Like Tesla right now is mostly focusing on the heavily populated areas and I don't really blame them. It seems to be like the best way to do things. In California, Tesla will need to obtain a agency license before operating as an insurance agency. It's pretty complex, but once they receive this license, they must designate a licensed agent, all this kind of stuff. It's really difficult. Tesla insurance is claiming that the vehicle owners could save up to 20 or 30% more with their lower rates because Tesla makes the cars, they repair the cars, and they know the ins and outs of the vehicles so they will give you like a good rate appropriately. Tesla can offer these low rates because it has access of the data of each vehicle it sells. Unlike other insurance areas where they kind of just estimate it and because you are buying a Tesla, it's a luxury vehicle, it's generally way higher for you than someone who bought like a Toyota Camry. And Tesla insurance will be limited to regular customers, but we should be seeing this thing expanding out to perhaps the Tesla semis, which a lot of major companies are buying. In fact, insurance is such a profitable business that a lot of people are saying that it could account for maybe 30 to 40 percent of Tesla's car revenue. That's big. That's almost as profitable as their manufacturing sector. As I said before, Morgan Stanley even said the side branches of Tesla in the next five to 10 years to probably make more money than their manufacturing car branch. For example, the autopilot branch, the insurance branch, and also the battery branch will probably make way more money than just strictly making vehicles. Tesla's business model is very different from other companies, whereas Mercedes-Benz and also Porsche, all they do is really make cars. Tesla makes cars, but also adds in other things that they think are profitable. They don't care what people think as long as this item makes money and beneficial for the company and its own investors, they do it. This is why they're doing batteries, solar panels, it's pretty incredible. I think the leadership of Musk is pretty unique in the standard. And a lot of companies right now are trying to mimic this business model, but it's just way too difficult. But let's just hope that this insurance company is expanding because it will be really awesome. And fun fact, the company recently registered an insurance company in Germany, and that's right next. It's Gigafactory in Berlin. So that's big. I think they're thinking about providing insurance in Europe because Europe has a really big appetite for electric vehicles. I think it's a big business and this is the first time I ever saw 
the company registering a real insurance company outside of America. It's big. I think Tesla Insurance will really be expanding to other locations and it's gonna be awesome. Tesla FSD Beta will be scheduled for a summer EU release since United Kingdom is allowing self-driving cars on the highways now. And Tesla's version nine of its FSD Beta should be coming out very soon. And Musk is promising that it will definitely blow your mind because this is going to let Tesla vehicles maneuver city streets, stoplights, pedestrians, you know, traffic lights. It's going to look very, very good. FSD beta update will be rolling out very soon. And Musk said in the last Tesla earnings call that there's no question in his mind that the pure vision solution will make the car much safer than the average person which is pretty true. There was actually a study about the autopilot on highways, four times more safer than your average driver. And Tesla is already driving in major city streets, which people seem to like, and not really that many problems have arose up. Sure, there's an occasional scary brake situation, but other than that, not really that much happening. So far, the autopilot system is becoming better and better, and people really seem to like it. Tesla hopes that FSD beta will become more widely available in the United States. It's a big subscription service that's coming up and will be available around mid-May and will be boosting the FSD beta's focus. I think it's a really smart plan offering the subscription service of the full self-driving beta because once people start using it, maybe for a month or two and they really like it, they'll actually spend the $10,000 and straight up buy the software. Tesla also plans to be launching the FSD download beta button by June at their latest and therefore can actually be able to download this and really enjoy the full self-driving beta in major cities. I've seen some videos where people literally just get on their car, click the autopilot, click like a restaurant, and the car comes out of the driveway, gets on the small street, and then gets on the big street. It will stop at stoplights, recognize pedestrians, other cars around it. It will do lane changes and then reach your destination. It's actually really smart. It's super crazy like that. And I really do feel like Tesla doing this kind of stuff will really boost its stock price. FSD beta would be slated for summer EU release and United Kingdom should be getting this as well. So definitely stay tuned. We got more things going on with Tesla. Can't wait for the insurance program to really start. I think I'll definitely make a whole dedicated video on the insurance. It's pretty complicated. And especially with this massive expansion going on, it's going to be a pretty big deal. I think Tesla's are really getting popular. And with that popularity, we'll be coming with another big industry insurance just to follow along with it. It's kind of like the cake and the icing, it pairs up really well together and people love the combination. Since people who use Tesla insurance save money and Tesla obviously makes money. And I can't wait for the Tesla FSD beta to arrive in the summer in Europe. Super excited. Thanks for watching and definitely subscribe for more Tesla news.